Happy Wednesday, everyone. I am back with two more non-phone work at home job leads that I would like to share with you. And I'm going to give you eight tips for, for your resume to stand out and give you two websites where you can go and practice your typing skills. As you can see on my screen, Real Work From Home Jobs with REST is all about non-phone work at home job leads. So if you're looking for a work from home job where you're not on the phone, you have landed in the right place, make for sure you consider subscribing to my channel. Click on the bell to turn on all notifications so when I upload new videos, you'll be notified and that will give you plenty of opportunity to go ahead and apply for these positions before they're not longer available people are getting hired and i would love for you to be the next one to get hired so let's go ahead and dive right into it um, i've talked about this company before zotex partner and the recruiters are still reaching out to me they're still hiring for this position this is a charge entry representative to work remotely this is a full-time position no degree is listed nor no state hiring restrictions listed and according to glassdoor the pay is 13 dollars an hour so to give you information about what you'll be doing as a charge entry representative, you will be responsible for monitoring data entry of patient demographic and charges and reviewing accounts for additional information needed for billing. This is a fast paced, heavy volume position with room for advancement. Really easy job. So what you'll bring to Zotex is they want you to be familiar with medical records as a plus, one to two years of medical billing knowledge required, anesthesia billing experience is preferred. They want you to be proficient in Microsoft Office skills, um, excellent written communication and organization skills, and it only requires a high school diploma or equivalent. If this sounds like something that you're interested in, are you able to do as well as you know somebody else that could benefit from this? Share this video with everyone that you know. And if you're interested in applying, all you need to do is click right here where it says apply for this job here. Okay. Now we talked about the company Pick Food. They're currently seeking administrative assistant to work from home. You must reside either in the United States or Canada in order to be eligible for this job. And the salary is between thirty thousand to fifty thousand a year, which rounds out to four, between fourteen and twenty-four dollars an hour. Okay. So to give you information about what you'll be doing is you're going to monitor, organize, and triage email inbox for their co-founders. You're going to provide support for companies' meetings, conference, and a team building event. You're going to coordinate projects between teams and create follow-up tasks. And then you're going to manage their accounts payable and receivable, keep track of payment. Now, about you, they're looking for someone that's organized, have two years in administrative support, you wore multiple hats as an executive assistant or office manager or project coordinator, okay? You are a strong communicator. You're fluent in English. You're a people person. You love their customers. Um, you always like the people they, you work with. You value your relationship. You love learning. And then again, the location, you must reside in the United States or Canada in order to be eligible to apply for this position. And if this sounds like something that you're interested in, you know, make for sure you go ahead and apply today, you know. So I'm going to just go over the application progress. They will begin reviewing application on a rolling, rolling basis. Their hiring commitment looks at every resume, so please be patient with them, especially during the holidays. Interviews will begin in January. This is January, so interviews are going to, um, they're going to start looking at it um, in this month actually okay so if you are feel like you're a good fit for this position then you need to go ahead and apply today by clicking here where it says apply for this job now we're going to talk about top eight effective tips for how to make your resume stand out i got this information on indeed and for those who don't know and i'm pretty sure everybody should know what a resume is but i'm going to go over that a resume is a document that showcases a candidate's qualification for a job. That is basically what your resume and it includes your education, your experience, your skills, and achievement. Okay, so it's a great way to showcase how you could be an asset to the company. So you want to do everything that you can to stand out from the crowd okay so how to make your resume stand out okay so understand what the hiring manager is looking for before you begin begin creating your resume you want to always review the job posting and the company website 
you know, take careful consideration when determining what you plan to include. Focus on what the company's culture keywords you want to include and what expected of you in this role. OK, and like I always say, tailor it, ta tailor your resume to the company's job posts in, in the job you're applying for. So be sure to include employment experience that showcase applicant qualification. If, for example, if you're applying for a job as a newspaper reporter, the hiring manager will be a fit more from knowing about your skills as a college reporter than a babysitter. You understand that? So include only relevant positions that let your future employer know that you understand what you're looking, what they're looking for in an employee. Okay. So include a header and a summary or objective in your resume. That should be the first one. Either you can call it objective, summary. Okay. So recruiters review a large volume of resume each day. So including a header and a summary or objective can help hire manager notice your resume among others. So when a, adding a header, make sure your name is at the very top. If you have space, make the, make the font size slightly larger. Include your address or just city and state, phone number, and email address, including contact information where the hire manager is mostly likely to reach you. Okay, so right below your header. You're going to write a summary or objective. A summary is no longer than three sentences, remember that, and it reviews your relevant experience and skills. An objective explains your career goal and what skills you can bring to the company. It's no more than two sentences. Remember that. It's, more, it's no more than two sentences. So include one of these statements that summarize your resume at the top so hire manager can review it and learn more about your quality. So you can do a summary or you can do an objective, okay? So remember that. Add additional skills, just like with your previous position. Only include skills that will be valuable to the position you are applying for. Check the job posting for skills or requirement that the hire manager is looking for. For example, listing your knowledge of design software and programs will be valuable skills to include when applying for a graphic design position. Really, in the job post, like I always say, the skills that they're looking for in the job post. But again, I'm say, I'm not saying to lie. If you don't have the experience, don't do it. But if you do have the experience, what they're asking for, you did all that, implement that in your resume. That is how your resume passed the applicant tracking system, okay? Keep it concise. While a resume can be two pages, must, must should be just one page. So a resume are supposed to be one pages, not two pages. Um, I do uh, resume reviews and I've seen a lot of resume on two pages and I tell them all the time, it needs to be on one pages, especially when you don't have a lot of jobs. So it should be on one pages. This is often the case for entry level candidates with minimal experience. As you draft your, draft your resume, make sure you only include information that could help you stand out against the competition, okay? So make it visual appealing. While recruiters will appreciate a well-designed resume, make sure your creativity is professional. Here are a few things to consider when designing a modern resume. The font style. Make sure the font you use is legible. Use a professional font like Georgia, Time New Roman. Um, that is a big one. Font, font size. Choose an appropriate font size will ensure a recruiter's ability to read content of your resume, the size font should be 12, okay? Template, keep your design minimal and appealing. If you're using a template, make sure the visual elements don't distract them from the content of your resume. And then the color choices, use an attractive color schemes when designing your resume, opt for black, white, and third color like blue or green. White is a great black background color. Black is the best for text, text and your third color can highlight important details on your resume, okay? So this is very, very important. Submit a cover letter. When employers have you to submit a resume online, they might ask you for a cover letter as well. Even if it's not required, sending a cover letter is a great way to stand out as a candidate. If you don't make sure the design and color schemes of your cover letter matches that of your resume for a more cohesive look, okay? Proofread, make sure you proofread your resume before submitting it. And the best tool I always talk about is Grammarly. 
Grammarly is a great tool that you can install on your computer. A lot of times when you're typing and you accidentally misspell a word or your punctuation is not correct, it catches that. It highlights everything before you submit it. So all you have to do is hover over it and it tells you the right spelling, the right word to use in place, uh, what punctuation. So you need to install Grammarly on your computer immediately. I use it every single day and it has helped me because I deal with resumes, I um, deal with content. So it is a great tool that you must have. So always proofread your resume before you send it out, okay? So these are eight tips to get you to stand out from the, your resume, to get to stand out from the crowd. So go and read this on your own time. Again, I got this information on Indeed. Um, this will help you to get your resume to stand out, okay? And I'm going to give you two websites where you can go and practice your typing skills. Like I always say, this is one skill that they're not going to train you on, okay? All companies are supposed to train you uh, on the way that they want you to do the job. But typing, you got to know how to type. They're not going to train you to type. And in order to type, consistent is the key. I keep telling you all the time, when you're consistent, you're going to, and you keep very consistent applying for jobs, you're going to get a job. If you're consistent in, in practicing your typing test, you're going to get your typing skills up to where it needs to be. Some companies require you to type 20 words a minute. Some jobs require you to type 95 words per minute. But you need to be practicing your typing skills every single day in order to get it where it needs to get. Again, this is one skill that a company, a Fortune 500 company, is not going to train you on. So go practice your typing skills, typingtest.com. Check your typing skills in a minute. You can choose how long you want to practice. One minute, two minute, three minute, five minute, ten minute. You choose, okay? And then the great thing about officialtypingtest.com, not only can you practice your typing test, but you can practice your 10 key tests, which is data entry. You will receive a typing certificate as well as they will give you typing tips. So go ahead and practice. Practice make perfect. And, you know, you want to do everything you can to stand out from the crowd, okay? So I'm going to just do a recap just in case you missed something. We went over two websites where you can go and practice your typing skills, officialtypingtest.com as well as typingtest.com. We talked about two, eight effective tips for how to make your resume stand out. It is so many people are searching for work from home jobs, applying for work from home jobs. You want to do everything that you can to stand out from the crowd. So I gave you eight Eight tips for how to make your resume stand out. We went over two non-phone working home job leads. These companies are hiring immediately, so you need to go ahead and apply. We talked about pick few. They're seeking administrative assistant to work from home. You must reside in the United States or Canada, and the salary is between thirty thousand to fifty thousand a year, which rounds out to fourteen between fourteen and twenty four dollars an hour. So, if you're interested in this job, all you need to do is click right here where it says apply for this job. Now, we talked about Zotex. I know I've talked about Zotex in previous videos, but recruiters are reaching out to me. They're still hiring for this position. They're hiring for charge entry representative to work remotely. This this is a full-time position, no degree is listed, nor no state hiring restrictions listed. And according to Glassdoor, the pay is $13 an hour. Really easy job. So if you're interested in applying, you need to go ahead and apply immediately. I don't know how long this job is going to last. Go ahead and apply today by clicking here where it says apply for this job. And I always talk about my channel, Real Work From Home Jobs with Ressa. My channel is all about non-phone work at home job leads. So if you're looking for a work from home job where you do not want to be on the phone, guess what? You have landed on the right channel. That is all I bring to you every single day, Monday through Sunday at 7 a.m. Central Standard Time. It's nothing but non phone work at home job leads. Make for sure you consider subscribing to my channel. Share my channel with everyone that you know that are seeking non-phone work at home job leads. Don't forget to click on the bell to turn on all notifications. So when I upload new videos, you will be notified and that will give you plenty of opportunity to go ahead and apply for these positions before they're no longer available. People are getting hired and I would love for you to be the next one to get hired. If you would like to become a member of my YouTube channel, I would love to have you 
All you need to do is click the join button. There is a short video explaining the benefits of becoming a member of my YouTube channel. Shout out to everyone that is a member of my YouTube channel. I really appreciate you so much as people have been a YouTube member ever since I've started this YouTube membership um, of January of 2021. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. I love you guys. I love all of my subscribers, non-subscribers. Make for sure you check out the community tab. That is where when I upload new videos, I post it in there. When I ask you polls and want to interact with you, I go into that community tab. So make for sure you check that out. All links to every job that I discuss will be under the video. All you do is click on the video click show more, scroll all the way down until you see links to the jobs and you click on that link, that'll give you more information about the job and you can go in and apply, apply for these positions. So again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next video.